YouTubers, it's Darkest Fairy again. Um, this is going to be a really quick video. Um, I'm basically um, asking questions, well a question, that I've been wondering about since um, the miscarriage. Now um, they couldn't pinpoint exactly why um, I had the miscarriage, but they did hint something towards um, uh, me being RH negative and the baby being RH positive or vice versa I really don't remember because it was like two years ago anyway um, if anyone knows anything like specifically about that I've been doing some research and because I'm TTCing um, I'm trying to figure out if I need to take it and if I do need to take it when do I need to take it um, I have seen recently something saying that um, the Rogam shot, which is what I would have to take, is um, actually uh, linked with, oh, what did they say, um, linked with like brain issues, like developmental issues and um, like autism, things like that in, in children. So if you know anyone who has taken the Rogam shot or if you've taken the Rogam shot, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know um, if I do have to take it, do I take it before I get pregnant while I'm TTCing? Do I take it in the early, like as soon as I find out? Do I take it, you know, when am I supposed to be taking this this shot, okay? Um, I just want to do everything that I can to have a healthy pregnancy. And everything that I read is so scientific, it's so technical, so I can't really, um, it's not in layman's terms. So I need to know um, in dummy terms um what what it is and if it's really necessary um i do plan whenever my baby does get here yay um i do plan on doing everything as natural as possible um i have done extensive research um i, I watched this documentary that's um called uh, the Business of Being Born, and then I watched the, I guess, sequel, so to speak, um, called More Business of Being Born. And um, one of the doctors on there said something really interesting and very true, actually. Um, me being the last of seven kids and having ten nieces and nephews out of, you know, the three or four of us that did have kids. So, um, oh goodness, I just lost my train of thought. Okay, yes. <laughs> and what she said was, people do more research on the type of phone that they'll buy, the type of house they'll buy, the type of um, computer they'll buy. They'll do more research on electronic devices than they will on options and choices for birth. And um, that really stuck with me because, like I said, being um, the aunt to ten, Oh, my cat is touching my feet. <laughs> Being the aunt to ten, I've seen my sisters just like basically give birth in the hospital. Not not that anything is wrong with that. So if that's what you do, that's what you do. I'm not knocking it. Just have your baby girl. But um, basically, they just have their children at the hospital like, that's my choice. That's my only choice. And that's what I'm going to do. And I decided, I mean, I have... Out of all my siblings, I guess I am the more different one. I'll say granola. Um, I like to do natural things. I'm the only, I was the first one to go natural, hair-wise. Um, I'm the only one to lock up into dreads. Not that they're, that they're bleh. Not that there's any difference between that and natural, whatever. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's, I'm just very different out of all of my um, other siblings. But, um, so yeah, I would like to either have a home birth or um, give birth at a freestanding birth center. Um, so, I don't know. But I'd like to do everything as naturally as possible. So if I don't have to take that program shot, then maybe I won't. Trust and believe I won't. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's going to be a short video. I'm going to end it here. If you know anything about the program shot, if you've gotten the program shot, if you know um, um, success stories of people who have taken the Rogam shot or I mean honestly if you if you have horror stories um, I would like to know both sides of the spectrum I don't want you to sugarcoat it on my page ain't no ain't no bakery on my page so don't sugarcoat anything okay <laughs> but um, let me know let me know I'm open to all information I just want 
to have the healthy, healthiest, ooh, healthiest, happiest baby. Um, I'm about to be late for work, so I'm going to leave this here. And um, I love you guys. See you soon.